What's up, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Saturday, August 12th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But without further ado, let's get into the home run prop action for Saturday. Had a decent day with the home run props on uh, on uh, on Friday, but now we head into the weekend strong. We're still having some technical difficulties, but uh, hey, like I said, that's not going to stop us from uh, rolling out the home run prop content for you guys. Hopefully, we get this right, uh, fixed sooner rather than later so we can get back to the old format that we had. But uh, well, some people like the new format, so maybe you know something just to keep in mind as we go forward. You guys can sort of see uh, where my mind goes and sort of just see the notes that I basically put down for a lot of these hitters when I'm uh, making them for, for the home run props. Um, but before we get into that, I want to remind everybody that these home run props are very high risk, high reward. They're not plays that I recommend anybody dump their whole bankroll into. They are just plays that are there to have some fun with on the side for some side action, for some pizza, or some coffee money. Um, I do give out a lot of home run props on this show. You don't have to play every single one that I give out, but any ones that you do play from here, I recommend playing just straight up a single bet. Though I do know that some people like to parlay these home run props. So um, if that's something that's within your means and if it's something that your book offers, you know, if you're going to parlay anything three legs or more, I recommend doing a round robin. It's going to give you a safety net in the event that something goes wrong with the parlay with one of the legs. Because, I mean, how many times have we all had that one leg of our parlay, you know, three or four leg parlay that had, that didn't come in and because we didn't have the round robin going, we didn't get paid. But uh, if, you had, if you have it going, yes, it's going to drive up the cost of the bet. It's going to make it a little bit more expensive because you're going to play, you know, your main parlay and then different parlays that are part of or parts of the, the, uh, the big parlay are going to be make up smaller parlays. Um, but again, you know, if you play a three leg parlay and you hit two, well, at least you still win something. And if you hit all three, well, you know, you're going to win all the combinations of two, as well as that three leg parlay. We showed you the example yesterday. I'm going to have a parlay for you guys at the end of today's show as well. Again, nothing to go too crazy on, but just worth a couple, uh, a sprinkle, a couple of bucks. If you have a, a round Robin or, you know, like I said, just, uh, you know, for, for a couple extra bucks, eh, worth, worth taking a shot on. But, uh, Let's get into the home run prop action. But before I do, I just want to remind everybody, I love interacting with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the angle I took on some of these games? Do you not like the angle? Do you have player props of your own? Uh, let me know. Maybe I missed somebody that you guys are thinking of. But if I, if you do, let me know. If you do drop them in the comments, I'll drop them in there before the game start. If they're not in there before the game start, they don't help anybody. And we're trying to beat the books as a team here at Pick Dogs. One team, one goal. And that goal every single day is to get us paid, whether it spreads, money lines, totals, player props, you name it. The goal remains the same, and that is to make some money, and that's what we're going to hopefully do here on Saturday. So let's uh, take a look at our first game. We're going to go to this match between the Tigers and the Red Sox. For the Tigers, they're going up against Brian Bayo here for uh, for Boston. Bayo, you can see here, he's allowed eight home runs in his last six starts. Riley Green uh, is, is a player I'm looking at for, for a home run for the Tigers. He's hitting 290 with five extra base hits, including two homers versus righties this month. I'm also looking at Jake Rogers. At plus 700, he's got two homers, three extra base hits against righties this month. And uh, Spencer Torkelson, he leads the Tigers in barrel rate at 13.3%. Has two home runs versus right-handed pitching in the month of August. So those are the three Tigers I would look at for the Boston Red Sox against right-handed pitcher Matt Manning. Manning's a lot of home run in three straight starts. Six home runs total in those three outings. I look at Tristan Cassis and Jaron Duran. Cassis, plus, uh, 280 average, two home runs against righties this month. Leads the Red Sox in barrel rate at 15%. And um, Jaron Duran, two homers versus righties this month himself. Um, so, yeah, you can see I, I kind of typed uh, versus right handed pitching twice there. That's what happens. Sometimes my brain turns into mush when uh, when you do so many of these notes for these home run props. But uh, we'll move on to this match between the A's and the Nationals, our next game. Um, I don't always love backing these two teams for home runs, especially the Oakland A's. But there's just no denying that there is some value in these two teams right now. Uh, for the for the uh, Washington Nationals, I like Lane Thomas. Um, again, couldn't find a price on him because I think he's questionable. I want to say he was on the bereavement list, but I could be wrong. He didn't show up any, on any injury report for me. Um, so maybe he plays here or maybe he's just getting an off day, a day off. Who knows? But uh, if he plays, I like Lane Thomas here. I like the matchup against Luis Medina. Uh, four homers, six extra base hits this month versus righties for, for Thomas. I'm also looking at Joey Menezes at plus 550. He's got a 226 average with three homers against righties in the month of August. Uh, for the Oakland A's against Jake Irvin. Irvin allowed eight home runs in his last five starts, including two in his last outing, five home runs allowed in his last three home starts. 
Um, I like Zach Geloff for a homer here at plus 400. Um, he's got a 286 average, two homers, five extra base hits this month versus righties. I'm also looking at Nick Allen. He's got a 368 average with two homers, three extra base hits of his own uh, in the month of August against right-handed pitching. Now moving on to this matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and Cincinnati Reds. Uh, we're gonna for the Cincinnati Reds. We're gonna go a little bit heavy here. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, against Andre Jackson, who's allowed five homers in 22 and two thirds innings of relief uh, this season. Uh, I'm gonna go TJ Friedel at plus 850. I think these are some great prices on the Cincinnati Reds here. TJ Friedel plus 850, a 318 average, uh, three homers, four extra base hits against righties this month. Uh, Spencer Steer uh, plus 700. He's hitting 240 with two homers. Five extra base hits against righties in the month of August. And Ellie De La Cruz at plus 550. Worth a look here for me as well. A 273 average with a homer and a double in the month of August. Now on the other side for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Surprising Pittsburgh Pirates have actually been drumming up a fair bit of offense as of late. I'm going to go first off against Brandon Williamson. Williamson's been a decent arm for the Pirates. Been helping him get some wins. But all 13 home runs allowed for Brandon Williamson this season have come against right-handed bats. And that's why I'm rolling with Cabrian Hayes here at plus 650. He's a righty bat that has Pittsburgh's lone home run versus left-handed pitching in the month of August. He's also hitting 400 with that home run and a double. So um, I'm going to take Cabrian Hayes at plus 650. I'm also going to look at Brian Reynolds at plus 550. He's got a 462 average with a double in August against lefties. Switch hitter uh, hitting 295 as a right-handed bat versus left-handed pitching this season. Um, so I'm going to go with Brian Reynolds at plus 550. Now moving on to this matchup between the Angels and the Astros. Um, for the Astros against Tyler Anderson, I'm going to go with Yardon Alvarez at plus 275. He's hitting 286 with a home run against left-handed pitching this month. And he's a career 333 with a home run off of Tyler Anderson. So give me Yardon Alvarez at plus 275. I'm also going to take Alex Bregman at plus 450. He's got a 429 average. He's 3 for 7 in his career against Tyler Anderson. All three hits have gone for extra bases for, for Bregman. So give me Alex Bregman at plus 450. Also going to look at Jose Altuve at plus 340. He's hitting 429 with a home run this month versus left-handed pitching. He's got 273 average with a home run in his career against Tyler Anderson. So give me Jose Altuve at plus 340. Also going to look for the Angels against J.P. France. We're going to go with Mike Moustakas at plus 550. He's got a 355 average with a homer and two extra, uh, excuse me, two homers and six extra base hits against right-handed pitching this month. Um, and Shohei Otani at plus 275, a 333 average with a homer and three extra base hits in the month of August against right-handed pitching. Now, I'm going to go with this match between the Diamondbacks and the Padres. I'm going to start with the Diamondbacks against lefty Rich Hill. Rich Hill allowing a home run in three straight starts, four home runs total in those five outings. I'm going to start with Christian Walker at plus 350. In the month of August against lefties, he's hitting 400 with a home run and a double. I'm also looking at Lourdes Gurriel Jr. at plus 650. He's two for three with a home run off a hill this season with a, um, a home run and a double as well. So uh, go with Lourdes Gurriel Jr. at plus 650. Uh, now on the other side of that matchup for the San Diego Padres against Zach Gallen. Gallen has been the staff ace and been pretty much dominant at home uh, at Chase Field this season. He's allowed six home runs in his last five starts, eight home runs in his last seven starts, um, to be eight home runs allowed in his last seven starts, and five home runs allowed in his last five head-to-head -head starts against the Padres, which leads me to take Juan Soto at plus 425. He's got three home runs against righties this month, and of his three hits versus Gallon, Soto has two extra base hits with a homer and a double. So take Juan Soto at plus 425. Also going to look at Fernando Tatis Jr. at plus 280. He's hitting 333 in his career with, a, with two home runs and a double versus Zach Gallon. So Fernando Tatis Jr. at plus 280. And Jake Cronenworth is going to be my value play here at plus 800. He's hitting 423 with two homers, six extra base hits against righties in the month of August. And in his career against Gallon, he's hitting 300 with three extra base hits, including a home run. So look at uh, Jake Cronenworth there. Now, in this match between the Rangers and the Giants, I'm going to go heavy on the Rangers in this one with a stack of Rangers. Don't have to play every single one, but uh, just worth a couple sprinkles here. Now, Alex Cobb has been dominant at home this season. There's no there's no denying that. I mean, you look at the numbers, 1.46 ERA, but he's been getting lit up in his last few starts. He's given up five homers in his last two starts, including three solo home runs in the last home start against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, team that's not hitting right-handed pitching all that well right now, and, and Cobb still gave up three homers in that game. So I'm going to start with Marcus Semien at plus 650. I think, the, I think just like the, uh, the Reds, uh, against Pittsburgh, the Rangers might be the best value bets on the board for uh, for home runs today, uh, just based on the plus money that you're getting back. 
Marcus Semien at plus 650. He's hitting 476 with three three home runs, four extra base hits in the month of August against right-handed pitching. So I'll take Marcus Semien at plus 650. I'm also going to take Mitch Garver at plus 600. He's hitting 333 with two homers versus righties in the month of August. Corey Seager also hitting two uh, two homers, 333 average against righties in August with a plus 650 take back. Um, at least Garcia at plus 550. Um He's hitting two home runs with a 238 average against righties this month with a 16.3% barrel rate this season. Second on the Rangers behind Corey Seager, who's around 19%. And the biggest value on the board today for me, Nathaniel Lau at uh, plus 1,000. He's hitting 316 with two home runs, four extra base hits in the month of uh, August against right-handed pitching. So I'll take Nathaniel Lau at plus 1,000. Now I'm going to go to this match between the Dodgers and the Rockies. Uh, I'm going to start with the Dodgers here. Quite a few plays from this game for me. I'm going against Peter Lambert here. Now, Lambert's given up eight career home runs versus the Dodgers, allowed in 15 and a third innings of work. In one inning of relief this season, um, Lambert allowed five earned runs and a home run. So I'm going to take J.D. Martinez at plus, uh, well, if you can find a price on him, I haven't seen him on any injury report either. Or Sorry, I, I stand corrected. He is listed as questionable uh, with an injury for this game. Moving to his hamstring, he's missed the last four games. But... Um, wouldn't surprise me if he suited up here, and if he does, well, I like him against Peter Lambert. Three for four in his career against Lambert with two home runs. I'm also taking Freddie Freeman at plus 425, a 417 average with a home run, three extra base hits in the month of August against right-handed pitching. And I'm also looking at Mookie Betts at plus 300, hitting 370 with three homers, four extra base hits this month versus righties. Now for the Colorado Rockies on the other side against Tony Gonsolin. Gonsolin's a lot of home run in six straight starts, seven home runs total in that stretch. So I'm going to take Ryan McMahon at plus 450, a 235 average with two homers, three extra base hits this month versus righties. And I'm also looking at Nolan Jones at plus 475, hitting 368 with a home run and four extra base hits this month versus right-handed pitching. So those will be my plays for that one. Um, for the Orioles and the Mariners, I'm going to start with the Mariners here. I'm going to go against uh, Cole Irvin, who does have a history against the Seattle Mariners from his time with the Oakland A's. Uh, Irvin, four home runs and 8.57 ERA in his last five career starts versus the Mariners. So I'm going to start with Eugenio Suarez at plus 340 in his career against Irvin. Two for three, both of those hits going for home runs. So take Eugenio Suarez at plus 340. Also going to look at uh, Ty France at plus 650. He's got a 462 average against Irvin with a home run and a double in his career. So take Ty France at plus 650. And we're going to go with Julio Rodriguez at plus 425. He's got a 556 average with two extra base hits and a homer this month against Southpaws. So he'll take uh, Julio Rodriguez at plus 425. And Dylan Moore at plus 500. Um, 556 average of his own, four extra base hits and a, and a home run this month versus lefties. So he'll take Dylan Moore. And then our last team before we get to our parlay, we're going to switch to the, the Baltimore Orioles here against George Kirby. Kirby's allowed five home runs in his last seven starts and five home runs allowed in his last two head-to-head -head starts against the Baltimore Orioles. So I'm taking Austin Hayes at plus 700. Uh, he's a career 286 average with a home run versus Kirby. He's got a 333 average versus right-handed pitching with a home run this month. So um, Austin Hayes at plus 700. I'm also looking at Ryan Mountcastle at plus 600. He's hitting 250 with a homer versus Kirby. And in the, this month against right-handed pitching, he's hitting 438. So I'll take Ryan Mountcastle at plus 600. And I'm also going to look at Adley Rutschman at plus 600. He's got a 280 average with three extra base hits, including a home run in the month of August against righties. Also hitting 333 with a home run in his career against George Kirby. So I'll take Adley Rutschman at plus 600. So without further ado, we will get into the home run parlay. Again, I would round robin. This is going to be a four-leg parlay. So if it's within your means, I would do a round robin by threes. Um, that would make the... Um, that would make if you if you if one dollar is your unit size, I'm trying to do some quick math here. Um, that would make you know one dollar unit size would be a five dollar total bet. A five dollar unit size would be a twenty five dollar total bet. Uh, Ten dollar unit size would be um, fifty. Um, if you want to bet by threes and twos, so that would be eleven total parlay. So one dollar you'd pay eleven. Five you'd pay fifty five. Ten you'd pay one ten. Um, if you do by combination by the four leg parlay and twos. Seven different bets. I know I'm rambling on and on, but I'm just trying to give everybody as much, um, as many options as possible. But this is going to be the home run parlay. The first one we're going to go with Kyle Tucker for the Houston Astros against the Angels. He's five for six and 833 average in his career against Tyler Anderson. 
He also has a home run and a double this month versus lefties and leads the Astros with four home runs versus left-handed pitching since the All-Star break. Also has a couple of extra base hits in that 5-for-6 average against Tyler Anderson. So I'll take Kyle Tucker at plus 360 for the first leg of the parlay. Second leg of the parlay, Luis Robert at plus 360. Now Brandon Woodruff allowed two home runs in his return to the Brewers lineup in his last start. Robert has hit 381 with two homers, four extra base hits in August so far against righties. So I'll take Luis Robert at plus 360. I'm also going to go with Max Muncy at plus 235. He's a career four for nine against Peter Lambert. Lambert, like we mentioned, struggles. Um, all four hits for Max Muncy have gone for extra bases, including three doubles and a home run. So I'm going to take Max Muncy at plus 235. And to round things out from that Orioles and Mariners matchup, Anthony Santander at plus 310. He's got three home runs versus right-handed pitching this month. And in his career against George Kirby, a small sample size, Santander hitting 444 with two home runs. So Anthony Santander is going to be the final leg of the parlay. So that's your four-leg home run prop parlay. Like I said, I do recommend doing a round robin here. Uh, Kyle Tucker at plus 360, Luis Robert at plus 360, Max Muncy at plus 235, and Anthony Santander at plus 310. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Up over 137,000 subscribers here on our YouTube. Couldn't have done it without you guys' love and support. So thank you so much for that. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that like button. It really helps us out. And it lets me know that you guys like this home run prop content. I'll keep producing it for you. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already, make sure you have notifications turned on. You know, thankfully, a lot of the action, uh, action on Saturday um, is around 4 o'clock and later. So we had a little bit of extra time to wait for some lines to develop, wait for some information to come out, but I can't wait forever. So I try to get these videos out as early as possible. Um, if you have the notifications on, you get notified as soon as the video drops, you're able to get those best bets in. We'll try to have it out really early for you because we do have some early action for Sunday. Um, but uh, also, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at PickDogs Premium. WirePickDogs.com, SportsChatPlace.com. Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're there for you to use. They're some of the best betting tools in the business. They'll do the heavy lifting for you. There's something there for everybody, regardless of your betting style, your betting size, whatever you, whatever you, however you, however you wager your money uh, on sports. And they give you the edge. I mean, they'll show you player props. They'll show you how often it hits, and they'll show you the sports book that's giving you the best price. Nice thing is, if you don't want to account with the book that's giving you the best price, you click on that price, you sign up, you get a sports book bonus offer on us, and you're adding to your advantage over the books that they can't take away, which is your ability to shop lines and find the best possible number. Um, there's other tools there. If you're a parlay better, there's parlay builders there that'll put parlays together for you. Um, if you're a streaks better, there's a hot and cold streaks tool. Profitable teams, angles, underdogs, the list goes on and on, you name it. Like I said, there's something for everybody, so make sure you go on over there and check them out. But thanks so much for watching. Again, appreciate you guys. Let's crush the books on Saturday.